something else you know me and uh, i forget to do that let me let me get the screen down before it goes to the next i don't know what i want to do uh it didn't go i don't know why let's go small screen let's go where's my Ooh, anyway y'all i hope it don't come on <laughs> oh, no, it says connecting to audio. oh it's connecting where to audio, okay we'll get it. anyway welcome everyone <laughs> As always, I'm always trying to figure out how. I think my battery is going out in this mouse because it's not cooperating. That's what my problem. That's what my. That's why I can't get back into um, uh, excess. Yeah, I'll do it this way. Now I can get rid of. Oh, good! It stopped. Praise y'all. That was okay. Y'all had me covered. Oh, okay, now I'll go back to full screen. Okay, we're okay now. I thought I was gonna start playing in the middle of uh, everything, and it's not doing that. So thank y'all. Hallelujah. All right. We just pray that you will go and, and um, spread the word that the love, loving him so good is out. Oh, loving and uh, loving all the song so is not loving. Love, love him so good is the name of the song. I love it. All right. And that's what it's listed under. So if you look for love, Yahushua, you won't find it. But if you look for love him so good, you will find the song. And it will be out. Um, I guess on all the signal and, and, and that's not signal, the um, Signify and Apple and all that within two or three days. It takes a little while sometimes, but you can get it now, download it in your phone, play it in your car and just love him so good. So we, want, we welcome you to, to do just that. Uh, have a, a witness in the car. Come on now. Uh, I love him so good. And uh, so we just released that yesterday. So I pray you'll enjoy it in the name of Yah. It's for the family. 
It's not to make money. It's not to be famous. It's just we have our own music that y'all gives us from heaven. And uh, these are those songs that we release here as as uh, uh, prophets are also psalmists. And uh, David was. So we just take this gift and spread it to the children of y'all. And uh, you enjoy them. All right. All right. We're going to talk a little bit before we get into Jeremiah chapter 5. We're going to talk a little bit about some things going on in Africa today. We talked a little bit yesterday, but y'all just gave me some some scriptures with constant. I know you talk about this day with Africa, and uh, there's more scriptures I'm going to be bringing. Uh, I just didn't go through uh, a lot of the ap Apocrypha to get some information because Apocrypha also has some prophetic word uh, on the situation going on right now uh, in Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people uh, don't understand that Yah has a uh, plan for Africa and uh, he has a people in Africa. Mm -hmm. A people is in all four, four corners of this earth. And we will re we recognize that. So don't look at it as a separate entity. No, uh, we came from the African continent. Uh, remember the three uh, sons of Noah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, Ham that got the West Coast and the mi middle of these, the country and the east side of Africa, including all the way up to, to some, from the Euphrates to the, from the Nile to the Euphrates. They call it Middle East, but it's Africa. Uh, we came from North Africa, northeastern part of Africa. And Japheth, he took the isles. He went up towards the north. So when you say Africans, uh, which is really not the legitimate name, but in a way, let's go for, with that. You're talking, this where you, you're from. You're an African. Uh, they call you here African-American. We just scratch the American to say African. Hebrew is right. <laughs> Come on, man. Right. We, we don't we don't have to worry about all the <laughs> the hoopla uh, because they don't treat us like Americans here. So why should we claim it? Uh, I don't claim being American because America don't treat me right and don't treat my people right. And I'm not proud of, to be an American like some of you are. Uh, you go right ahead and be proud. But as far as I'm concerned, I've seen the atrocities that continue, and I am not proud of apartheid America. I'm not. Uh, so I have no, uh, problems uh, with us. A lot of us, uh, Israelites have been here in, in America before the Indians. I know all about that. Uh, but still it was stolen and right now. It's under their auspices. Mm -hmm. And I still say I'm not in America. Come on, man. All right. Yeah. So I put, have to put it on a piece of paper. That's all. That's, that's not in my heart. So we want to talk a little bit uh, before we get into Jeremiah, and I, who knows what y'all's going to pull out of Jeremiah. I don't know. And I have some scriptures that I'm going to use today, and I'm going to uh, be following this up and getting you some out of the Apocrypha as well. Uh, but I'm going to start with just three today, since we're going to have a, quite a lengthy study today. I want to encourage those of you that are uh, of African descent of recent uh, I was telling my dear daughter, Pat, who's a Nigerian here among us, so she's really in the crux of everything. Wave your hand, my darling. Yeah. And, uh, and we met. She said, Mother, I knew it was, it was just y'all because we met, and her and her sister, who's, who's gone on now to be with y'all, uh, has um, said something about that woman. She likes one of us. And I said, I, I, and then after a while, I understood I am one of you. Uh, and uh, remember, the heritage, the heritage comes uh, through the seed. Say seed. 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 Your inheritance comes through the seed. That's why your father is the, you, you inherit your name from your father. Okay? But your identity comes through your mother. Uh, she has a perpetual gene. You understand? So a lot of times people get it mixed up. Well, if it ain't your daddy, it's not an uh, Israelite, then you ain't one. Mm -hmm. And that's not true. What's your mother? Come on. I get my inheritance from my father. I get my, his seed. But when it comes to identifying, the identifying gene, it comes through the mother. Mm -hmm. You understand that? I hope you do. Look it up. Study it. It's true. 
uh, you can tell who you are, your DNA, who you are precisely through your mom, precisely. But you can tell your inheritance through your father, where he's from, you're from. You understand what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to get that understood. So let's talk a little bit about Africa, some scriptures I want to just share with you, all the upheaval and, uh, with uh, Niger or Niger, however you want to pronounce it, and, and France and the U.S. and Europe and uranium and gold and poverty and all of it. Okay. This is that day that was prophesied many, 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 many years ago. And I knew there was some prophecy in here that dealt with the situation. So I just went in quickly this morning and pulled out three right away. So here's the first one I want to give you is the encouragement to all of you who are right now uh, in the uh, uh, mindset of, of worry about what is going to happen. Uh, Y'all calls Africa, Egypt many times, you have to understand, or Ethiopia. That doesn't mean it's that Egypt, that little box up in the northern part of African continent. It was when he said Egypt, he was talking about the continent. When he's talking about Ethiopia, he's talking about the continent, not just one section of a country, a, 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 of a continent, but the continent itself. So with that in mind, understand what I'm getting ready to say to you. I want you to write down or turn to Psalm 68, 31. Psalm 68, verse 31. You got that? Mm -hmm. Here's what it says. Princes shall come out of Africa. Egypt is another way of saying Africa. Now remember, this is David, the psalmist. This is a psalm, right? So he's not talking about when they came out of Egypt the first time. Remember, came out of Africa the first time and they crossed the Red Sea and went into the promised land. All right. Mm -hmm. That has already taken place. and We got kings on the throne. All right. Princess shall come out of Egypt. So he is talking about future. He's a king. So he's a prince already. You got that? Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto Yah. Do you see that? That's a marker. And how is that going to happen? It's something about calamities that bring about a change in people's thought. And time then to reach out to Yah. Why? Because Yah has promised Africa he will come nigh. Come on. These Europeans and Western nations are not fighting against Africa. They're fighting against Yah. Because Yah have a plan for Africa. And you and nobody else will stand in this way. Anyone standing in this way going to get mowed down. You're not going to go over there and pit us against each other and kill up our children because you don't care about them. You're not going to have us, our children, digging in uranium mines to make your country rich and ours poor. Come on. This day specifies it's over. That's why the upheaval. And that's why every despot over there in Africa is going to be deposed. Y'all said the head's going to come off. Now let's go down to Acts chapter 7. Acts book of Acts. We would believe that this prophecy is in the book of Acts chapter 7 verse 34. Y'all is through with this foolishness. He's speaking boldly. Yes. Though they can't hear. We do. Acts 7 chapter 7 verse number 34. I have seen. What did he say? I have seen. I've seen. When he sees, that's all that that's all that matters. No matter what man see. He said, I have seen. All right. And what did he see? 
He yeah. said, I've seen the affliction of my people. Yeah. Did y'all know this was an Acts? <laughs> no, because y'all just reveal it to you. Hey! Hey, come on hey. now. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. In the New Testament. In the New Testament. Come on now. <laughs> Which are where? In Africa. Period. Let, let that sink in. And I have heard their groaning. We ain't talking about that that Egypt there. We talking about our people that are locked into Egypt system, which is the people here and the people of Africa too. You understand why everything is upturning at one time? We got he got his people there in Africa. He got more of his people in Africa than in the, in the states because why? They they a lot of, of our people remained. They weren't all enslaved. We 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 even married him, I said. We all became a people. Y'all knows through the mother's DNA who's who. Mm. Come on. So you mess with Africa, you messing with y'all. Mm. They're no then our people are no longer under a curse. So now Africa can be free. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he's talking about us, he's talking about Africa. And I have heard their groaning. And I am come down. Did you know that was here? <laughs> In an Acts 7.34? I've come down to what? Chain them up again? Run them out of Dodge? Kill them up? Let you kill them up? No, he said, I have seen. Yay. And I have heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I have come down to deliver them. Hallelujah. You're messing with the wrong one this time. It ain't like it was before. Ooh, come on, man. And now come. I come now. This is a word from the God, the Almighty God. I will send thee where? Into Egypt. There's two ways to look at this word Egypt. Who will he send to Egypt? He's talking to Egypt. So you ain't talking about sending them there. So what is he talking about? He's going to send his angels. He's going to send his, his mercenaries to Egypt. He's going to send whoever he wants to to deliver his people. Russia included. Don't you see what he's saying? I'm going to send you, Putin, to, to, to Africa. I'm going to send all of you that I want to stand up for my people. I'm going to send you to Egypt. Oh, come on now. Including the United States of Egypt. Including the land of Africa. Mm. You're not up against who you think you're up against. And these events that are getting ready to unfold, you will know it. Because they should not have happened that way. That's how you know it's Yah. Yes. Oh, yes. Do you understand? Yeah. He said... I am coming to Africa. I am coming to my people, Africa. Wherever you are, an African, whether you are on the continent or in America, or wherever you at, he said, I've come down. I've heard your groaning. I've seen the killings by the police. I've seen the operations of Europeans against my people. I've seen the, 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 the detriment. I've seen the murder. I've seen the thievery. I've seen it all. Come on. And now I've come down. Hmm. Genesis 48. Genesis chapter 48. Didn't see this either. I know because I did. I'm going to tell you, when I say that, I'm not trying to be a smarty pants. I didn't see it either because I didn't understand what I was reading until the Holy Spirit opens up your understanding. Come on. So I'm not taking no credit for this. I don't have nothing to do. I have no credit here. Mm -hmm. This is Yah showing you his words and sitting there all along waiting for the proper time to release it. Now this is back mm -hmm. when you know we were getting ready to what? Mm -hmm. To be to be relieved, to leave. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm trying to say? But now listen to these words in this day and listen to what it says. Five. 48 and five. Mm -hmm. Genesis. 
And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, look at it as spiritual sons. These are the most high sons. Two of the tribes. We know about one being lost, but listen to what he's saying. Which were born unto you in where? Well, we know all of the sons was born. Uh, uh, Jacob's sons were born in where? Africa. Isn't that right? Mm. You understand that? Mm. Hmm? I believe that's why translators would, would mess with this word. So it throw you off. But he says, which were born to you in the land of Egypt? Really? Okay, listen. According to our maps, they were not born in Egypt. The, the, the natural sons the, in Genesis. They were born unto Jacob while he was, what, sojourning. Isn't that right? In the what? Promised land that wasn't given to him yet. Isn't that what, he's, what it was? Did they go to Egypt to have birth like you go to the hospital to birth the son in over there in Egypt? No. When they got to Egypt, all the sons was born. Oh, come on. Talking about something else. Which were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came unto thee into Egypt. That means to deliver you. Mm -hmm. Are what? Mom. Those that are born, he's saying, those sons in Africa belong to me. They are what? Mine. And because mine is mixed in with everybody else, I mean, everybody else gets, to, gets a free ticket too. You understand what I'm saying? Because he's there for his folk, but his folks are intertwined with everybody else. So that means everybody else gets a pass. We're all mixed up with Hamites now. And everything else under the sun. Only Yah knows who we are. As Reuben and Simeon, they... As in other words, these were illegitimate for a minute. That's what he's saying. He said the illegitimacy. You walked away from me. You became illegitimate sons. All right, but I'm going to bring you back because you're mine. Oh, come on. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just like Reuben and just like Simeon. Huh? Are mine. You're going to be mine. You are mine again, in other words. They shall be what? Mine. They shall be mine. Prophecy. So you looking at Africa as one, you, you, it, the complication is not complicated. It's not really complicated. We know we're there. We've been there. We've been intermarrying. We've been there for many, many centuries. But we were under a curse, a 400 year curse had to be lifted to liberate our people there in Africa because we are there too. Hmm. And just like them, they have been oppressed. We have just, I mean, they like us have been oppressed just like we here in the United Snakes and all over the earth and in Africa as well. Hmm. Y'all said you weren't going to be able to have uh, what everybody else had. You are under a curse. But now, they're no longer under a curse. You messing with Jacob's boys now. Come on now. You you messing with the wrong folk. Because they're Yah, they're God standing behind them. And they, he even said in, in Psalm 68, 31, we read, he said, Your hands are gonna be coming up to me for in other words, you're gonna come to me for help. Come on. And I already got help ready. Hey! hey! He said, You're gonna stretch your hands out. You're gonna repent and you're gonna put your hands up and say, Help us. Help us, y'all. And I'm going to do just that. Come on now. Hallelujah. So be at peace. Be at rest. And we'll bring more scriptures in. We're going to bring more prophetic word in. Get you a little log. Keep these scriptures handy. And know that y'all are speaking. That he has heard the cries of them babies. The, mol the molestation. The murders. Going and calling yourself adopting and trafficking children. Mm -hmm. Oh, he knows it all. He's seen you pedophiles with, with priest collars on. He's seen it all, those that don't have. 
He's seen all you lying preachers and pastors over there exploiting his people. Oh, he just seen it all. Going up in these villages like you love the people mm. and manipulating them. Going in like you bringing aid and stealing everything, stealing them blind. Mm. Oh, he see it all. He saw it and now he's calling it. Right. He's calling it. And who are you to stand up against the almighty? So sit back in your seat, get your seat buckled in, get your seat belts in so you don't get so happy you fly up out your chair. <laughs> Okay. And watch y'all move in Africa mm -hmm. like you've never seen before. It's already started, mm -hmm. but this is just the beginning. Yes. They want to annihilate Africa. They've always had their eyes on Africa because it's the richest continent in the world. Period. And y'all said that when he, what, created Adam. He told him of the gold that was located in Africa. you got to remember that was there for a purpose. And it will be used for the almighty it will not be any more confiscated. He's taking it all back from them. Come on now. He's going to take all of it back. It don't belong to them. <laughs> See, when your crops get through burning up in your homes and your villages and everything you think you got, what what you go? What you going to plant on charred ground? Mm -hmm. Can you restore mm -hmm. the forest? Yep. Can you do that? You're out of here. Methodically out of here. Thank you, Father, for your word. And I'll leave it at that. Hallelujah. Praying for you, Africa. Praying for all of you who are going to rise up to what? Do the will of the Most High, Yah. Protect and care for the people of Africa. All right. We're, we're with you. All right. Chapter 5, Jeremiah. Oh, before we get, I'm sorry, honey. I think we're going to let it rest. We're not going to have, we're going to go right in chapter five. I just felt that's where I'm headed. That's where I'm, I, I, I'm not going to fight that. And we'll have you sing to us uh, afterwards. Yes, we'll still have song. Has to be that way. We have to follow the spirit. I know you understand that. Mm -hmm. And we will oh, have, yeah. we will have good music right after. Is Brilliant. that all right, everybody? It's all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Chapter five. I want to stay in the spirit. Come on. I'm in a flow here. <laughs> to word. Let's keep going. All right. Chapter 5, verse 1. Jeremiah. Yeramahu. Some people like to say it. Yeramahu. All right. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. See now and know. You know, Yah is always educating his people. Look. Listen. Hear. Always. And seek in the broad places thereof, if you can find a man, if there be any that executeth righteousness or judgment, that seeks the truth. Seek you find somebody that's looking for justice, that's mm. seeking the truth. And I will what? I will pardon Jerusalem because it's going to get ready to be destroyed, remember? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah isn't called the weeping prophet for nothing. He knows what's coming and he laments a lot over it. But it's just like Yahuwah spoke with Moses, with Abraham, our father Abraham, and said, What? He got down to 10 people, 10 righteous. If you can find 10 righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah, I, I'll, save, I'll, save, I'll save the city. Couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. This is the same type of thing. Find me one that will stand for the right, the justice of Yah. Not just any justice, his justice. Huh? And I'll pardon you. I'll pardon you, Jerusalem. Isn't that so? And though they say the Most High Yahuwah liveth, surely they swear false. A lot of folks out here saying they believe in Yahuwah, the Yusha, they got the name, they got the, the, say they got the DNA, I don't know, I didn't check it, but it doesn't matter to me. Um, but y'all are looking for more than just your, re reaping your identity again. Huh? He's looking for righteousness, he's looking for justice, he's looking for truth. 
But see, you say you 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 is uh, you uh, know he lives, but you don't live for him. Mm. You know Yah is. You know God exists. His name is Yah, but yet you don't live for him. He said you're liars, and you are swearing falsely. Mm. O Most High Yahuwah, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Yes, it is. Why? Because he is true. But he's looking for truth in you and I. If you if you have a father, you ought to have some kind of trait of your father. Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Teach it, teach it. And you got a child come here looking like something from another place. That's not that you're gonna question that. So is y'all. Thou hast stricken them, but they have not what? Grieved. See that? Mm -hmm. He has chastised them. With some very, very harsh chastising. But yet, they're not grieved over their sin. How do you know they didn't repent? Judas was sorry over his sin, but he never repented. You can be sorry about something and not be repentant about it. Mm -hmm. Sorry is cheap. Mm -hmm. Sorry just meant you got caught. Mm -hmm. That's all sorry means. Got your hand in a till and you grab it back and, it, and, the, and the store manager looking at you, you say, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, you sorry he caught you mm -hmm. before you got your hands on that money. Sorry will not save you. That should be the precursor to getting to the place of repentance. Mm -hmm. Thou has consumed them. Listen to that. But they have what? Refused to receive correction. Mm -hmm. Isn't this something how when you feel you're being consumed with correction, you reject? Mm -hmm. teach it, teach it. That's just too much for me. I ain't, I ain't here for all that. All that correction. Nah. He said, you refused to receive my correction. Mm -hmm. They have made their faces harder than a rock. It set their face like a flint. That's why Yah tells his prophets and people that love Yah, don't be afraid of their faces. Mm -hmm. They have refused to what? Mm -hmm. Come back to Yah. And we got to more of them in that shape in today's world. More that way than the other. There are more that refuse to return that, than return. Because their hearts are hardened. Yah cannot speak to them. They've already made up their mind what's right and wrong. They've already made up their mind what the word, what they've been told the word means. And they cannot hear. Because their hearts, their ears, their spiritual ears are shut. Fourth verse. Therefore I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish. For they know not the way of the Most High. And there you go. Underline that. They don't know the ways of the Most High Yah. Nor the justice or judgment of their Yah. How he, how he operates. Big problem. And say one thing out of your mouth, but your actions tell the truth. Mm. Mm. Five, I will get me unto the great men, and I will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Most High Yah. You hear that? Mm -hmm. And the ju judgment of their Yah. But these have altogether broken the yoke. Take my yoke upon you. They broke it. Mm. What? Take my yoke upon you? Fine. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. But you decided to what? Break it off. Mm. You don't want me to steer you in the right direction. You don't want me to guide you where you're supposed to go. You think you're big and bad enough to do it for yourself. 
Huh? You don't want to go by the way I want to direct you. And you fight against my judgment. That's what he's saying. And they don't know the, when you see judgment, it means the ways of Yah. When someone opens their mouth, you already know whether they know Yah or not. You should know. You should know by their conversation, by how they carry themselves, by how they live, year after year after year after year. Because anybody can put on an act for a little while, but they ain't going to be able to act all the while. Not that you're looking for it, but you're glad when you find someone sincerely walking with God. But you walk with them for a while before you make your last decision. Because they can come as angels of light, but ain't no light in them. They know how to walk a good walk for a minute. But don't stir them up. The real walk will come forth. Mm. The fifth verse. I will get me unto the great men, and I will speak unto them, for they have known the way, what they, what? When he says great men, he ain't talking about just somebody that's important. He considers you, when you obey him and follow him, great. Huh? You're great. I don't care what nobody say Hallelujah. about you. You're great. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 You don't nobody dictate to you what you are, who you are, who you belong to, or what you're supposed to think and not think and look at what you're No, 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 no. You're great before the eyes of God. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 And we'll speak. He's going to speak to what? To the great ones. He's going to speak to those that are set apart, those that are listening to him, those that are observing his word and living by his word. That's the ones he's talking to. Mm. You'd be surprised if people come have come up over the years to me, ain't living nothing. You're talking about what God told them. <laughs> okay. One thing he would tell you is you need to repent, but if he tells you that, that would be something. Listen to this. And we'll speak to them. To who? To the great men. For they have what? Known the way of Yahuwah. He ain't speaking to nobody else. Get it out of your head. Stop taking these words. Somebody told me, I got a word for you from the Lord. I said, you know what? Keep it to yourself. Because <laughs> your life don't tell me you know him. And another's voice I will not hear. Mm. Or, you know, I use diplomacy to that degree. If it's not for me to spot them, I don't spot them. I just take what they said and erase it out of my head and keep going. And the judgment of their Yah, listen to this, they know not only the way, huh, the way of Yah, they know the justice of Yah. They know when he blesses, when you when you do what he tells you, he knows he will blight you out, he will curse you, he will put some punishment on you if you don't. And not some people, oh no, Yah wouldn't, that's people that don't know any better. Like most of us when we first come to Christianity, oh, y'all won't do anything bad. He won't do anything. We call it bad. He won't do anything. He love everybody, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't know him. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know him. Like you didn't know him. Mm -hmm. And these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bounds. Not only broke the yoke off, they broke their bounds. You're bound to Yah. You've been set apart, called and set apart by him, people of Yah. And yet, even I'm talking about not the world. This this message is not to the world. This message is to you, Yaswalites, who say you're Yaswalites and got your fringes on and going to your Sabbath meetings and and those who don't go to them and those who say there is no Sabbath. It doesn't matter what your what your what your doctrine is. It's the life. But Yah is calling them. Hmm. All right. So they broke away from Yah. Say broke away. Broke, broke away. away. That's what disobedience does. It breaks you away from the will of the Father. That's called rebellion. A rebellious people. A stiff necked people. Six. Wherefore a lion out of the forest. Listen to this. Something vicious. And we know where they're coming from. Right? The north. Shall slay them. Hmm. 
who are you going to slay? Those who have broken the yoke of Yah off of you, who refuse to obey, to humble themselves and return. So a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evenings, because that's when wolves normally they like to hunt, mm. shall what? Ruin them, spoil them. Spoil here doesn't mean like spoiling a child. Oh, you give them everything he wants. No, he ain't talking about that. He's talking about marring them, scarring them, harming them. Mm-hmm. When something spoiled in your refrigerator, do you want to eat it? No. Well, there you go. Now you know the spoil he's talking about. So they're going to waste them. That's what spoil is waste. Say waste. Waste. A leopard. He's talking about kingdoms here. So when you see a lion, that's one kingdom. Huh? A wolf is two kingdoms. That's another kingdom. And now you've seen a leopard. That's another kingdom. Huh? A leopard shall watch over their cities. You hear that? They're going to be spied on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone that goeth out thin shall what? Be watching for you. Going to be torn to pieces. Mm-hmm. 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 Because their transgressions are many. And their backslidings are what? Increased. What's that song they sing in the world? Who let the dogs out? Y'all let the dogs out. And they're coming for you. Because stiff neckness is still here among us. People don't know how to humble themselves. They don't know how to take correction. They don't know how to mend their ways with Yah. They don't know that how you deal with Yah's people is how you're dealing with him. And they're always justified in their bad behavior. Always justified. Always justified. Well, if it wasn't for her or it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had to say that. Or what I said was right. I don't care what, what that person says. Y'all got no use for people like that. And it's telling you right here. Seven. How shall I pardon you? How shall I let you off for this? Your children have forsaken me. And you know why? Because you ain't taught them nothing. And sworn by them that are no gods. They, 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 they rather go to the educational system, get their degrees, and get into uh, banking or get into some kind of way that they, Egypt's way, so they can... Uh, harvest some kind of, of uh, uh, economic boost uh, to their livelihood, and uh, they don't look to y'all for anything. Mm-hmm. Because when you think you can make your own money, you know how to invest, you know how to uh, do uh, uh, the uh, operations of a business, you are savvy in, in your uh, uh, operations and know how to turn a dollar into many dollars. Well, see, that's you looking to Egypt. That's not you looking to Yah. Yah is not in chances. Yah is sober. He is methodical. He's a, he thinks before, before it happens, it already is in place. It's a Yah order. And those that love him are in order. Is your house in order? Are you in order? Huh? Is your thinking in order? Are your actions in order? Are your desires, are they in order? How shall I pardon you for this? Verse 7, thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods when I had fed them to the full. Mm. That's hurtful, isn't it? Mm. Makes you feel bad. Y'all has feelings. The people treat him like he's just an old shoe, old boot. Mm. You ain't got nothing in the boot for me. I ain't got no need for you. Mm. They can't see their blessings for, seeing, for, for being lustful. 
having their eyes full of lustful things. Well, I ain't got my new house yet. I ain't got my new this. I ain't got my, look at the world. They got more than us. And we talking about, we believe it. Why they got so much and we ain't got nothing. Well, 400 year of curse has to do with some of the part to do with it. And the fact that you don't even serve y'all. You mm. serve your own greed. He said, when you ask, you shall receive. The only reason you won't receive is what you ask because you want to what? Lord it on your own lust. Mm -hmm. Lord it on your lust. You want to worship the things over the, the thing given. His people are on a different level than the world. The world can work hard, do all they want, make money, not money, stay get, get rich, not get rich. But Yah, Yah's people is on a different pitch. We look to Yah for our success. Hallelujah. Even if we go to school, we look to Yah to help us with our education. We look to Yah to see what classes we should or should not take, or whether we should go to college or not, and what we should be doing to take care of our families. We go to Him first. You don't make all your plans and say, "Okay, Yah, bless it." Mm. Mm. Who do you think He is? Mm. He said, "Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I'll direct your path." How you already got direction, and you're gonna ask Him to bless it? Mm. Well, I'm going over here to so-and-so and another state and start a business and, and uh, I want all the saints to pray for me uh, that it be a success. Why? Did you ask y'all to go there and start a business? Why didn't you come and say that? Why didn't you say, y'all spoke to me and told me to go over here in such and such a place and do such and such a thing? Then we're going to say we agree with y'all. No, no. you. I just got my... my uh, Credentials or my diploma, whatever it is, and I'm going to I'm going full throttle. Yeah. Well, you go right ahead. All right. So he can't pardon. That's the really the answer. But anyway, let's keep reading anyway. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed what? I satisfied you with every good thing. But your grievous lustful heart always wanted what you knew you shouldn't have you are always tempted by your evil wicked lustful heart a heart of a man is desperately wicked who knows it but yah who knows it but yah we ain't talking about your heart and my heart he's talking about the heart of a person who does not put their trust in yah i remember we used to walk around all the time in church oh you know you don't know how evil you are. No, nobody knows your heart, but y'all, they say it's desperately wicked. No, you ain't talking about my heart. Maybe talking about yours. Because a lot of you talking out of both sides of your mouth. On this side, on Sunday morning, you talking about hallelujah, praise y'all. Oh, sister, love you. Pat him on the back, shake the head, give him a kiss. Yeah, yeah. Singing with him in the choir, helping him usher, whatever you do, cooking in the kitchen. Hmm. Or any any group that you in actually. Mm. On this side, girl, did you hear about? Oh man, you see that over there? That show look good. That's tempting over there, ain't it? That's on this side. Hypocrite. You're liars. And the truth is not in you. Mm -hmm. And don't think you're going to get anything from Yah. All right. So they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops. What? In the harlot's houses. They're lining up to worship idols, to have temple sex. That's how they worship. A lot of these pagan religions. Sex had a lot, and orgies had a lot to do with their practice. Mm -hmm. And many of our people were tempted to do just that. Wasn't they at, at the foot of Mount Sinai when they just and they did that? Mm -hmm. They had an orgy down there. Yah, mm -hmm. Yah was giving Moses the law, and they down there having orgies, drunk, cutting up, making a golden calf to worship that they learned from Egypt. And Egypt had orgies, so they started having orgies as part of their what? Worship. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just to have sex. Sex was a part of worship. These false idols. Mm -hmm. 
And when you have sex that's outside of your marriage, that's what you do and worship in a false idol. You didn't know that? He said, your body belong to me. How you going to be laid up there with somebody you're not married to? Mm. Mm. And I don't know how y'all do it. Then go to church and sit up on Sunday morning. And, or go to your camp or go wherever you're going. Mm. When you lay down and have sex with somebody, if you know y'all, you go and say, I do. You don't say, I don't. You say, you've married that person. So you might as well go on into the to the uh, judge and say, marry us, because we really married already. That's what you're saying. Because when you have sex with somebody, you become one with that person. And I know a whole lot of whole lot of my of my past, your past, y'all hooked up with more than one. And you know what? Y'all saw he saw us as one with each one. That's why when you come back to y'all, you really need to be washed and cleansed and have the repentant heart that you need mm -hmm. so that those spirits on them folks won't come into your new life mm -hmm. get rid of it talk about it oh it's too embarrassing tell it that's part of repentance you know keeping some secret that you've done uh dastardly things and you you don't want to talk about it no talk about it just find you somebody you can trust and get it out, get it off your chest. Anything that's haunting you, still haunting you, I mean. So some things you've asked forgiveness for and it's gone. You don't think to worry about. Things that have not left and keep haunting you, the devil can use against you. Mm. That's why you get it off. All right? Not that somebody want to hear your business. You know, they got any sense. You know, any man like me is a leader. No, I don't want to know you dirty lot. Okay. But if I if it'll help you, mm. you can always use me to help. Uh, Talk to that's where we should be without me getting on the phone the next day telling Mary Sue Mom. and Bobby Joe and all the rest of them your business. When I came back from backsliding back in the church day, I was so happy to be back. I was telling everything I was doing. I was telling, okay, <laughs> I figured like let, get it all out in the open because somebody can walk over that church one day and see me sitting in that pulpit and say, Oh, I, I remember I saw her down at such and such and such. And she was doing such and such and such. Everybody go look at you like you a fool. Because she done told us all that. <laughs> okay. Ah. Are you being messy? Yeah. <laughs> because that's pride that, that keeps that stuff in you. Mm -hmm. And you need to get it out. Get it out of you. So there won't be no sin before you, before y'all. Y'all will forgive you. But sometimes we have to do these types of cleansing for ourselves. Hallelujah. So we won't allow it to, to hamper our walk in y'all. I've gotten it out. Y'all has forgiven me, but I think I'm going to go over here and talk to Sister Leslie mm -hmm. and let her know this thing has been haunting me for years and I can't seem to shake it. Mm -hmm. And I know it's something that I'm holding on to somewhere I don't want to. Would you please pray with me? Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Did he say tell your faults one to the other? Yeah. What's wrong mm -hmm. with that? Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. Hallelujah. Don't hold on to things that you can't hold mm -hmm. on to. That's bothering you. He's bothering your walk, making you your conscience is not clear before y'all. But something he is forgiving you for, but you can't seem to forgive yourself. Get it off of you. Talk to a brother or a sister you mm -hmm. can trust and have prayer and ask y'all to take care of this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to verse eight. They were as fed horses in the morning. You know, you on the farm. I never lived on a farm. I visited a farm, but they get up in the morning and early and feed the livestock. Don't they do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's what? Even though you were fed and you shouldn't have been lusting, you had what you needed. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But yet and still, you look over the fence and see your neighbor's wife. And you want her. Mm -hmm. or don't even have to be your neighbor's wife, just anybody. And you lust after her. You want one. You nay. You nay after his na your neighbor's wife. You lust. You hunger after the wrong thing. After you're full, you're still hungry for wrong. After you're full up on righteousness, oats of righteousness, you want the dregs of sin. Let's go to verse number nine. 
Shall I not visit for these things or punish you for these things? Saith the Most High Yah, and shall not my soul be avenged? You know, he has to be avenged over our sin. I'm talking about the people of Yah. It's not a light thing to sin against Yah. Teach it, teach it. On such a nation as this, so he he's talking about the nation of Yasarel, Yehuda. You hear that? His own folk. This is all this is about, is his people. 10. Go up upon, go you, go you up upon her walls. And what? Destroy. Destroy. He was telling the enemy. Tell him, come and take her down. But make not a fool into her now. I, I, let's leave a remnant. You always got a remnant. Mm. Take away her battlements, her protections, her arms. For they are not mine. They're not the most highs. So all the comings up, you can come up with how to protect and take care. And all of those things don't do you a bit of good. That's what he's saying. All your armaments will fail. All of your thoughts and ideas will fail. Because this is me you're up against. And that's why we were talking about Africa a while back. They don't, the people are coming against Niger and, 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 and the different coalition there of uh, uh, countries uh, that have had coups to replace uh, the European placed dictator uh, presidents, <laughs> Mali, and I think the others, I can't think of the other one. But anyway, there's about three main ones with Niger. Same thing, with your armaments, you think you got so much power, but you haven't even really seen power yet. Go ye up, verse 10, upon her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not of the Most High Yah. 11, for the house of Yasserel and, and the house of Yehuda have, dwelt, have dealt very treacherously against me. Against who? Nobody else but me, saith the Most High Yah. They have bel belied, belied the Most High and said, it is not he. So they didn't lie it on him. Some say they, it's not Yah the speaking, which is a lie if they don't know him. And others say, well, this is what he said, which is a lie because he ain't said that. <laughs> That's belied him. It is not he. Neither shall evil come on us. So you prophet over there talking about what's going to come down on us. That ain't him. You know, he don't talk like that. He ain't bringing no judgment on me. He ain't bringing no judgment on this, this uh, Yasserel. He ain't bringing no judgment on Jerusalem. He ain't bringing no judgment on Ju Yehuda. No, he ain't doing that. That don't sound like him to me. That's because you don't know him. I guess you haven't read he chastised those he loved, right? Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword or famine. We ain't going to see no war, we ain't going to see no violence, and we ain't going to be in lack of anything. No plague. Oh, that was, that was, hey, you used to having everything, right? Because he supplied, he just said, I, I fed you, I took care of you. So they just feel like, huh, ain't nothing going to happen to us. That's where these fed Europeans are, these fed Western countries are. We have, you don't have. We have. It's not going to happen to us. Nine hundred fires is a lot of fires, Canada. I know you said six. That is more than six. Hundred. <laughs> and all the other European, they're all on fire. Thirteen. And the prophet shall become wind. Of no consequence. And the word is not in them. You hear that? These are the prophets that the people are putting their trust in. He said, go right ahead. But their words are the wind. Hmm? And my word is not in them. Thus it shall it thus shall it be done unto them. So all he's calling all giving you a warning. Lord Jeremiah, you say, they're going to like me for this. No, they're not. 
but you don't you set your face towards me and I'll take care of them. 14. Wherefore thus saith the most high Yahuwah of hosts, because you have spoke because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire. Power is what it said. Fire is a representation of power. Influence. You're able to shake the rafters, bring it down, destroy. You can prophet was told he could build up and he can destroy. Did you read that in Jeremiah 1? Let's go back there. He said in verse 1, and verse, I mean, it's chapter 1, verse 10. Chapter 1, verse 10, Jeremiah. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down. And to what? Destroy. And to what? Throw down. To build also and to plant. That's the power of the prophet. When the the word of Yah comes out of their mouth, that's really him doing it. All right? It's his word that's doing it. He sends forth his word to do his good pleasure. All right? So he said, and this people will be wood, right? Thy mouth will be come out fire. The words are fire and the people are wood. What's going to happen with fire and wood come together? Who wins? The fire. And it shall what? Destroy them. Devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far. Mm. O house of Yasserel, saith the Most High Yah. It is a mighty nation. It is a what? Ancient nation. Mm. We know go all the way back to Babylon, Ancient don't we? Whose language you don't know. Neither understand what they say. Their quiver and that's that little pack of that holds your arrows on the back of your mm -hmm. uh, back. Mm -hmm. If you, if you, uh, yeah, uh, huh. if you uh, take them out of that pack, you have a quiver full of arrows there. So mm -hmm. when you get through shooting one, you have another to pull. Mm -hmm. Like that. We got that. Okay. All right. O house of Yahshua, saith the Most High, it is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language you don't know, neither understand. Their quiver is open, is what? Is as an open sepulchre, a grave. They are all what? Mighty men, strong for battle. And they shall eat up your harvest, your bread, which your sons and daughters should eat. That's the way famine is, isn't it? Don't always look for it right now as an army always. It's also what? His army of elements, of storm, of rain, of fire, of wind. He has many ways to punish. They shall eat up your flocks and thine herds, and they shall eat up thine vines and thy fig trees. They shall impoverish <laughs> thy fish cities. Then they're going to cord them off. Can't get no aid, can't get no help. Wherein thou trustest with the sword. They, they trust with what? Their might. They, he said, but don't put your trust in the horses and the chariots. That is the natural means of force. But put your trust in the living Yahuwah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Most High Yahuwah, I will not make a full end of you. That's his mercy. Hallelujah. That's the promise to the forefathers. Yes, huh? Abraham, Isaac, and your Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass when you shall say, Wherefore doth the Most High Yah all these things unto us? Why is he doing this, in other words? The question, what? What you say? Why is he doing this? Isn't it funny how fast we forget? <laughs> then shalt thou answer them, Like as you have forsaken me, and serve strange gods, in your land, mm, mm, mm. so shall you serve strangers in a land that is not yours. So just like you serve strange gods in your land, you go into another land, huh? Mm -hmm. 
and you're going to serve as, huh? Stra as, as strangers in their land. That land not being your own. 20th verse. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in So Israel is Jacob and Yehuda is Judah. So what he say? Declare it. Pronounce it. Let them know what's coming. 21. Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Listen up. Here he goes. Fear ye not me? Aren't you fearful of me? Saith the Most High Yahweh. Will you not tremble at my presence? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We learned that his presence are in these what? What is his presence in? All these catastrophes. Mm -hmm. The wind, the sword, the fire. Mm -hmm. huh? The storm, the wind. Which have placed the sand for the mound of the sea by a perpetual decree. He decreed there be sand. That it cannot pass it. Mm -hmm. That's your your beaches, huh? That water don't supposed to be coming up over that boundary. And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet they do not take over the land because they have a barrier there set by Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though they roar, yet can they not pass pass it? So he's asking Hallelujah. a question. Teacher, teacher. But this people have the what revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Mm, he said, "We want none of this, y'all. We don't want this. We we think the grass is greener over there with them heathens. So we going over there to worship." Twenty four. Neither say they in their heart, "Let us now fear the Most High Yahuwah, our Yah." That giveth rain. Well, they don't want to fear the one who actually brings the rain. See, both the former and the latter rain Hallelujah. have to do with crops. You need water before you plant to, to get the earth ready, and you need latter rain to what to, to nourish Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! In his season, right? Former rain in his season. He what reserved unto us appointed weeks. Of the harvest. There is a harvest, y'all. I said there is a harvest. Hallelujah. People have mistreated that word, not understanding. Hallelujah. In y'all's timing, all things come to pass and come come into existence. Mm -hmm. Your iniquities, verse 25, have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. You gotta remember that. Very important. Take it, take it, take it. Because you are the people of Yah. Sin will keep the good things of Yah. We got a song coming out called The Good Things. Will keep Yah from blessing you. You're different than the rest. They can sin and be, be all kind of wealthy, get all kind of good deals, get all kind of look. And instead of us, uh, when you want to know why I can't get nothing, examine yourself. Go to Yah and find out. Twenty-six. For among my people are found what? So he said, "My people, among wicked. my yeah. people are wicked people." Yeah. Don't have to be M E N. Could be W O M A N to E N. Women, people. I don't know who put that across that. Found wicked. So just cross men out. Just say, "For among my people are found wickedness." That's really what it should have said. They lay wait as he that what set us traps, snares or traps. They set a trap. Oh, there it is. They catch what? They catch men mm -hmm. in them. Do you know there are traps set out there for you and me? You got to know how to avoid them. You got to discern about them and where they are, who they're placed in. You got people that are nothing but simply traps to trap you. The people of Yah. 
27. As a cage. Oh, and by the way, you'll know them by the fruit they bear. You will not be fooled by their little traps, they said. They'll trigger their own traps, okay? All right. 27. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Sure. Therefore, they are become great and what? Waxen rich. Because you just because you rich don't mean you blessed. I tell people they always want to use money to say I'm blessed. Just because you got a lot of money don't mean you blessed by yeah. Yes. This yeah. riches of this world belong to Satan anyhow. Don't be boasting. Don't boast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, mother. Did he tell you Bow down and worship me and I give you all the kingdoms of the earth? Mm -hmm. Like I say, don't boast. Don't be trying to be like these so-called rich people. Your wealth is far beyond anything they could ever even imagine. Hallelujah. Never envy the world and their riches. Let them have them. Because they're going to be the same riches that's going to damn them. Let them have them. Let them have the big houses and mansions and cars. They not, why would you be needing all that and you supposed to be happy? Because those things they're trying to make them make them happy. Look, I want you to see I'm successful. Well, why do you need somebody to see that you're successful? What difference does it make what they think of you? No one seems to, I won't say no one, there are of us who care what y'all thinks of us. But we don't care what you think about us. Because you fickle anyhow. You love us one minute, one or what? String us up the next. So we don't put our trust in whether a man or woman like you or not. Or whether you're rich or not. You, are, you have riches untold. You have riches in y'all. And Hallelujah. the world cannot measure what you are, or who you are, or how rich you really are. Don't let them do that. Well, you could believe in God why you ain't got nothing. It'll be easy for me to turn on them and say why you ain't got nothing. What you got is so great. Your wife is over here going with somebody else. Your son don't know whether he's male or female. You confused going with your secretary. You know, doing drugs on, 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 on your downtime. Sleeping around. You rich. But you ain't happy. Doing drugs here and there and everywhere. Going on islands and having sex with young children. Don't, don't, you can look at me and, and you can smile and wave your hand all you want to. I ain't envying that of one of you. But you're all suited for destruction. Teach it, teach it. Yeah, even the New Testament tells us don't seek riches. Yeah, we got priests to tell you to do just the opposite. Don't seek riches. Seek, seek the, the, the will of Yah. And in seeking his will, that is the greatest riches. For him to even respond to us is beyond all expectation. Come on. To be able to talk to the creator, you can't get no richer than that. I don't know what you're looking for. And him talk back. Hey, come on now. So don't, don't don't count the rich of this world as anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their heaven has already been used up. Twenty eight. So don't don't I go back to twenty seven. So in, in part B. Therefore they are become great and waxen rich. Twenty eight. They are waxen fat. They shine. <laughs> Yay, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause. The cause of the fatherless. They don't care about which one. If, if there was some, some rich people were some decent people, there would be no poor people in this earth. But they cipher every good thing they can for themselves. They don't care about no, oh, I, I help, I donated towards a hospital. Oh, I donated that. But you don't care about them folks they serving in that hospital. If you would get out there and give your riches like Usha told the rich young prince, sell everything you got and help the poor. If everybody did that, it wouldn't be no poor. Yeah. They're only going to be poor with you always because there's always these rich, greedy, no good lying, philanthropists, so-called self-philanthropists, liars, for, for, for the what? For their tax uh, refunds. Yeah. Don't yeah. want to pay no taxes. Yeah. That's why they give most charities get money because yeah. people don't want to pay taxes. Yeah. That's it. That's 
So their cause is not the fatherless. See? Yet they prosper. See there? And the right of the needy do they they're not they don't do right by by them. That's all this word judge means. Mm. You don't call it righteously. Mm. You call it unrighteously. Teach, teach, teach. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Most High Yahweh? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. He don't mean great when he said he don't mean uh, going to Disneyland. Wonderful. Because that ain't nothing but Satan anyway. But that's not that's not the subject today. So it's been committed. This is something wonderful. Means something all. It's it, it's so terrible. It, it's just all all awful, mm-hmm. awful horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy what? False. Falsely. So they say, oh, ain't no trouble coming. We're going to be caught up in the rapture. Don't worry about it. All is well. You Did you did you confess JC as your savior? Yeah, well, you, you in. You all right. Did he confess you? That should be your question. Did he confess you? Many in that day are going to say, Lord, Lord. He's going to say, I didn't know you. But didn't we do all these wonderful acts in your name? I never knew you. What name? Mm-hmm. That's in your head. Teach it, teach it. Think about it. The prophets, we got more lying prophets sitting out on YouTube than you can imagine. I said we got more lying prophets than we got. Ain't got ain't got nothing from y'all. Circuit prophets. Prophets with no fire coming out of their mouths. People are looking for literal fire to come out of the, uh, the, the witnesses' mouths. He ain't talking about literal fire. He's talking about the word. The word is fire, y'all. The word will destroy you. Why? Because when you speak that word that y'all put in your mouth, his, he's quick to perform it. And when you're a prophet, he will perform it if you're his prophet. But if you're just a prophet, anybody can sit up and say what they see. And, what, and well, it's going to get worse. Well, anybody can say that. It's going to get worse. Well, he says it's going to get worse, like a woman in labor. I mean, that don't take a prophet to, to understand that. Huh? Right. Do they know what's happening in Africa? Do they know why? And do they know how it's going to turn out? That's Yah. That's his word. Who's out here talking about that? Giving the people of, of Africa hope. Telling them what Yah says about what, what's going on in the land. Those that he talked to. Hey. I want you to think. Think about it. I had one of things. I think it was Leslie. You know, I uh, or Pat. One of Pat it was Pat. She told me on the phone. She said, "You know, I see." She said, "Mother, I see." I said, "Oh, I'm so happy." She said, "Mother, I see it." I see what's going on. I see they're using the Nigerian president how they are, and I know what Yah's doing. I know I can see that this is all going to be to His glory. I said, "You got that right, God. Yay. You got that right, Yah. Nothing's out of control in Yah. Yah has everything in control. Teach it, teach it. And we don't have to worry about these things. That <laughs> no need to worry about them anyway. <laughs> they know you gonna do. You might as well join in ranks with Yah." He's our warrior. He's our protector. We can trust him. Hallelujah. We got lying prophets out here. In every shade. In every color. 
Y'all will give anybody a word. He'll give a jackass a word. He'll 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 give a a corn a, a, a corn rooster. He'll yes, give him he as a sign. Yes, he will. Hmm. So don't don't you can get a word to a person that don't even know he's giving a word. Yes, you can. Oh yeah, it happens. It happens. Yes, it happens. So don't get all t- tangled up in that. Oh, she said that that came to pass. That don't mean y'all, that's y'all's prophet. Teach it, teach it. Hmm. Just have a message. They say, what's his name? Bar Judas or Bar Jesus? I forget which way. Bar Jesus, Judah, Bar Jesus. Bar he was out there prophesying, doing all kind of uh, 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 works uh, uh, supernaturally uh, by the powers of darkness. Mm. And he didn't, he didn't want his his light to get uh, his uh, influ- influence to go. So he, uh, he wanted that Holy Ghost power. He said that spirit, that Holy Faith Spirit Lord. power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what you want? I want I want the same power these these uh, apostles got. Mm-hmm. I don't want that because I don't want mine to fade out and then they take over because that was his mind. That's why what what happened to him? Went blind. Mm-hmm. Come on. There are false prophets out there. Let me give you a warning. This is not the day to stand up and lie in his name. This is not the day. You got an opinion, nobody can stop you from having your opinion. But when you say, thus saith the most high Yahuwah, that's a whole different thing. He's going to shut your mouths. He's going to make a fool out of you. Well, a lot of you looking like fools already with them high heel shoes on. You men out there preaching high heel shoes on and Next, you be wearing lipstick and, and wigs. Yes, and all of you that are following people that you know are not right, y'all still hold you responsible. Mm-hmm. Yes. And all you meetings, all these meetings that y'all put together, we call it prophetic meetings, you're liars. Mm-hmm. Yes. All you people that have so called programs of the prophetic nature are liars. Got people coming to you and giving all these offerings. When did prophets get paid? Can you tell me now? When did prophets in scripture ever reap from the prophet, from the word of Yah coming out of their mouth? Who was taking offerings for the prophets? Anybody can tell me? No, no. Then how are you taking offerings? How are you collecting from the people? Didn't he say freely I've given? Free, freely you've been given? Freely what? Receive? Mm-hmm. Freely mm-hmm. give? Mm-hmm. The thing is, you can't do that because you ain't been receiving nothing. Mm-hmm. Come on now. And y'all is holding you accountable. Your covering is not there. Your words are going to come back on you. Teach it, teach it, teach it. Because y'all is not in those words to take it to where it should go. So where are the words going to go coming out of your lips? They're going to fall on your feet. Mm -hmm. And you shall be destroyed. This is the day that Yah has called to avenge himself through the lying prophets. Mm. By the one, by mm. the lying prophets. Mm. Every so called good word you got will be damned. Every damnable word you got will be ignored. For Yah has called for justice against you. Mm-hmm. The prophets prophesy falsely. They're liars. And the priests bear rule by their means. You hear that? In other words, they benefit. The church folk are benefiting from your lies. Because the offering plate's getting full. The pastor calls you in as the prophet. And you prophesy. Oh, you know how that offering goes up. Y'all already talked about how much the cut's going to be. 
You can't wait till the older oh, prophets coming. Oh, the prophets coming. Your flyer should read the liar is coming. The liar is coming. The prophet liar is coming. I want to get a good word for me. I got to get a word. Find me somewhere where I just it says one word anyway. It's just a, I know it's just a way we speak, but think about that. And my people love to have it so. You hear that? Yes, yes, yes. The itching ears love it. The itching ears. They love to hear these false prophets. They love it. The, the, the leadership love it because they get their pockets full and the prophets get them a cut and the people get a little poor, but they still love it. Make them feel real good. I don't need you to prophesy me a new coat. I don't need you to prophesy me a new car. I don't need you to prophesy me a house. I don't need you to prophesy me a husband. I don't need you to prophesy nothing. Because you're a prophet liar. Mm. Mm. And you don't have the mind of Yah. So how in the world are you going to speak the mind of Yah? Truth not in you. Half, half of you up there preaching just as prejudiced, white supremacist as you can be. Mm. And our people go running right after you. And my people love to, they, they love it. So, and what will ye do when it all comes down to wash? Mm -hmm. What you gonna do when it comes for you, bad boys? Huh? Bad girls. What will you do? Nothing. Nothing. You with your itching ears and lustful hearts. Nothing good will come to you. I want to go to, uh, let's see, let me find it. Then I'm going to be done. Okay. Let's see. Second Timothy four three four three Got it. Mm -hmm. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers. Here they are, prophets, teachers, having itching ears. That's what I want you to see. Because they enjoy hearing it. You think it's right. Because it tickles your fancy. Run away as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. Because if not, the wrath of Yah will catch you too. And all you false prophets out there, your false organizations and your false mantras and your false promises and your books that you write are all of Satan. Mm -hmm. And they say every book was, but the books that these false teachers and prophets write Stay away from it. as far as you can. Can we say Shalom? Peace. Peace. Peace to the people of the Most High Yah. Peace in every corner of this earth. Yah has come nigh. And now it's time for the other half, actually more than half, part of this world that has been wicked against his people and against his earth. He's taking it back.
He's going to destroy it. He's going to destroy it. In fact, it's already begun. Say this again. The roof ain't on fire. The world is. The roof is not on fire. The world is. I will stop there. In the name of Yah. Well, I've had a good time, haven't you? <laughs> I've had a good time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been encouraged, our sisters and brothers in the four corners, and uh, Africa holding most of us. <laughs> oh, they think they're going to hold us hostage over there. But oh, wait till you see the hand of y'all move across that land like you've never seen it before. Hallelujah. It's like, can you feel it all in your sides? Oh, yeah. It's in there. Can you see, feel the witness there? Oh, yeah. He's telling you. Yeah. That's right. So don't, well, I don't care what they're talking about on the news. I don't care what they're trying to start. They want to fight. Bring it on. Bring it on. It won't last long. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember, they don't really want to fight. They want you and me to fight. Mm -hmm. Remember that. So while we fighting each other, which we ain't, they can be back in the backyard stealing all our gold and silver. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. That's what that's what this is about. Get y'all fight. Mm -hmm. Get your right. get your babies killed. Mm -hmm. Don't you kill our babies? Don't you war against our children? Don't you do it? Y'all will punish you greatly. Punish you greatly. Will not happen. We've died enough. Mm -hmm. We've suffered as a people long enough. You know, it's a person with an empty stomach. There's two ways to be hungry. There's a way that there's no hope, which is the worst type of hunger there is. But then there's a hunger that's just as long, but I know the food is on its way. That's a different kind of hunger. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You ever had that kind of hunger where you didn't have nothing? You don't know where you're going to get it yes. from, where it's coming from. It hurts, and you have no re recourse. But then there's a hunger that knows it's going to be what? Satisfied. Come on. So I can hold on just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Well, we are that second group. Yes, we are all starving for justice and righteousness. Yes. Ma and it shall come. But here's the thing. We know the food is on the way. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The solution is on its way. Hallelujah. So we can go a little longer. Yeah. Because we have hope. And we have promises of Yah. Mm -hmm. Who is not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. So we can put our not, not. trust. Hallelujah. Set your table now. Yes. In the presence Hallelujah. of your enemies. Yeah. Set it now. Because he's going to bring and break the table full for you. Come on now. Hey. Oh, you're feeling the pains in your tummy. But just to roll over the horizon, just over that, that mountain, is coming your help. What did Elijah tell his servant? Open his eyes so he can see. Mm. Hallelujah. The myriad of angels that are taking going to take care of us. Don't worry about what these folks got. And I'm saying this to Africa. Don't worry about what the world's troops look like or their bombs or their whatever. You got to look up now. And embrace y'all and see his troops. Right. See his chariots. See his power. Yeah. Trust him. Right. All is well. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Let's pray and then let's get into some worship. I want to pray because I want this word to sink into your hearts. There's nothing gained here by telling you what I just told you. There's no offering plate going out for you to make sure you fill my, my, my tank up. Come on. This is the word of Yah. It is him that speaks, not me. Trust him. Look to him. All is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Yahuwah, Yahusha, I'm thanking you right now. Hallelujah. For your word is truth. Your word supplies love and power and energy. And gives us the freedom in our souls mm -hmm. not to be ashamed, not to be uh, afraid of what man wants to threaten to do to us. But know that the greatest is you. And the greatest power is you. 
Hallelujah. 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 You generate all power yes. from your throne. Hallelujah. 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 You are the great emancipator. You are the great one. Hallelujah. Ooh, come on now. Hallelujah. 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 You are our warrior. You are our king. You are our provider. Hallelujah. There is no lack in you and therefore no lack in your people. You have made all things righteous. All those things are righteous in you. And your children are in you. Hallelujah. We are thankful, Father, for the word spoken over Africa and all of the African people throughout this earth that know who their Yah is. We are praying. We are looking. Our hands are up like your word says. And we're calling on you, Father, for your justice, for your retribution against our enemies. We can't call this home and abroad. People say both home and abroad, but we don't have a home yet. Our home is in you. Hallelujah. That's where we reside. You said we abide in you, Yahusha, and you abide in us, and we abide in the Father together. We are one in you. Thank you for taking our enemies to task and taking and pulling them down. Thank you for teaching them lessons that they'll never benefit from, but they will see it coming. They will know that their hour has come to be destroyed. This is no longer their world. Satan is not in control. You are in total control. Why I know this? Because your words say you have drawn nigh. And where you are, Satan cannot abide. Hallelujah. He only has influence on those who want his influence. But to those of us who do not want that influence, he has no power over us. You said in your word you have given us power. Over the devil himself. Yes. Father, we thank you. We take power right now in our hand against France, Europe, all the European, the EU, hallelujah, the, 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 NATO, the NATO, huh? The United Nations, the United Snakes, all of their courts, all of their wicked sisters, including Italy, all of them. Hallelujah. And we speak hallelujah. devastation. Hallelujah. Devastation that never has been seen will take place now as you destroy everything they have counted on down through the years to bring them wealth and affluence. We come against your affluence. Yeah. We come against everything you stole will return to who you stole it from. Mm. You are to call into account by the most holy one, mm. Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Yah himself. He is the one who is sending you the notice of cutoff. He's the one who's sending you the notice of eviction. He's the one who's sending you a notice that you must get off the premises. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. For this earth and all of its heavens were created by him. And now he's evicting you. Your powers have thought out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your powers are over. Now you turn the missiles on yourself. All kinds of accidents are getting ready to happen. Explosions, demise, destruction. I speak it over this world and its wicked followers and wicked followers of Satan. I speak against wicked doers and evil, wicked schemes in the name of Yah that have come against his people. I now execute the word of Yah against you. And I thank you for the prosperity of your people, that they will not be in lack, that their needs will be met according to your riches and glory. Hallelujah, that it's time to feed the children. It's time to feed the hungry children of the Most High. Thank you, Abba, for the food. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for the sustenance and substance that you alone will provide for your people. 
Oh, they can't shut you off, Father. They can shut off electricity, but they cannot shut you off. Oh, they can shut borders, but they can't shut. No, you have all the borders. You are the border. Hallelujah. They have no power to sustain themselves against you. We thank you, Father, for speaking today. And we look forward to seeing your wonders as they explode all over this earth. But they don't know. They don't know our enemies, your enemies, don't know that we are the children of the Most High Yah. And now we're coming into the power that you have given us to sustain, to be sustained, and to grow and to prosper in the midst of chaos. Mm. Though we may be walking through a desert, there are wells that you will help us find. Hallelujah. And we shall be sustained and kept. Thank you, Abba. For your word coming to pass. We give you praise and honor. All the glory belongs to you. We love you. We adore you. And we place no one else above you. And no thing. We give you the glory and the honor. In the name of your Ua. Amen. Amen. Let's give you yeah. Let's have the Hallelujah. let's have the wonderful. Let's seal Hallelujah. it with the trumpet. Let's seal it with that horn. Yeah. And we're saying to Yah yes. that every word has spoken by the prophet now come to pass in the measure in which you have designed it to come. Hallelujah. And may all the glory belong and go to you. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May no man receive glory, Hallelujah. just you. In the name of Yah. He has spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has spoken. Oh, no, we're going to turn this over to our dear elder waiters and let's sing a worship song. And have let the most high have his way with you, dear. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Let's join in with something to praise y'all about. Something to call hey. all about. Something to love them about. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
to you, 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 to to you, 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 to